Hey, what's up guys, Ness for here, and uh, this is part two of my Panasonic 3DO FC10 unboxing, where I'm going to show you the games that I have here. So, um, yeah, let's get started on this. So in total I have, let's see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, probably about, I think, 16 games or so. So... Yeah, I'm gonna get, <clears throat> get to show you guys these. First off, here we have uh, Killing Time. It's a uh, survival horror, I guess, you know, game, I think. Um, very cool. Open it up. Alright, so, open it up, we got the disc. Quick reference for the fight stick, and then the manual right back there. So, that's a very cool game. Shooter. Game. All right. Next up here we have. Uh, I guess this is supposed to be an educational game. It's the 3D Atlas from EA World. Uh, kids for adults. So yeah, um, it's pretty cool. I'll open that up too. So we open. Oh. Open it up here. You have an ad for Electronic Arts 3D Atlas. Map to the Atlas, manual, and disc. Um, like most of these games are in uh, very good shape, and the manuals are in most of the cases, which is good. So, that's very cool stuff like that. Next up here is a, um, well, it's a box for Who Shot Johnny Rock for American Laser Games, but as you can see I wrote here Alone in the Dark. That's because the game for Who Shot Johnny Rock wasn't in here, but Alone in the Dark was. So uh I just labeled it <coughs> with a piece of paper and a red Sharpie. So got Alone in the Dark. Next up is San Diego Zoo presents the animals. True multimedia experience. Uh, so basically, it just goes around and shows pictures of animals and stuff, and tells you information about the animal. It's pretty cool, I guess. Um, yeah. Next up here is Captain Quasar. Uh, this one has like the best looking box out of all of them. The only thing wrong with it up here is it's a little crunched up. But that's not a big deal. Um, this one actually was in the Twisted the Game Show box, um, which is right there, which does not have the actual game in it, because it had this in it and um, Club 3 Radio Station Evasion, so I put this in a crappy little um, DVD case for now, until I actually find a real case for it. But yeah, Captain Quasar. Next year is uh, FIFA International Soccer. At EA Sports. So we open this up here. We got an ad for Shockwave Invasion of Earth 2019. Uh, and there they had some DLC ad for Operation Jump Gate. <clears throat> so we got the manual and the game. Honestly, I haven't played like any of these games at all except for. Uh, Captain Quasar, and, um, I think, oh, well, yeah, and some of these games, which aren't actually real games, they're copies. I've tried P.O.'d, Twisted, and Dragon Slayer. Oh, and I played, uh, Road Rash on this, which is coming up soon. So you have FIFA International Soccer. Next up here is a, uh, child's game called Shelley Duvall's It's a Bird's Life. There we go. So, this is just you know, a simple little game for kids. Young children. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, here's an American Laser Games game called Mad Dog 2 The Lost Gold. Uh, this is the sequel to Mad Dog McCree. <coughs> And, um, so here's this 
American Laser Games Game Gun, highly recommended. I've tried it with that, and it does not work. So, I don't know. Maybe it's something wrong with the gun or the controller that I'm using. So maybe the port's bad on it. I don't know. But, uh, so yeah, this is actually extremely hard to play with a controller. I would not recommend it to anybody. Next up here we have a uh, copy of John Madden Football for 3DO. I need to here's just some credits, you know, art design and stuff. And then we've got an extra little bonus here. we got two posters. One's a uh, offensive defensive place poster and the other one's stats for teams. And you got the manual and then, well, a VR stalker uh, ad strip, and then John Madden football. So, those are, that, those are those games up there. And, um, alright, so here's the last in this pile. That's Road Rash by Electronic Arts, EA. <laughs> Warning, contains mature themes. If I can get this thing. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah, so um, I'm seeing the Samurai Showdown uh, booklet in here. Uh, that's because I have a copy of Samurai Showdown right there. I don't know why it's in here, but oh, it doesn't have a box anymore. But, uh, there we go. Okay, Road Rage. And then there's the game down there. Hidden. So, hold on one second, I'll get the other stuff out of Alright. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Next up here we have uh, Sesame Street Numbers. Another children's game. I probably won't ever really touch this game at all. But, uh, yeah, so there's the book. Very small, just a little pamphlet booklet. And then get the game here with a cracked inside ring so it doesn't stay in. But yeah, so Sesame Street Numbers. Next up here is a uh, copy of Slam and Jam 95. Slam and Jam 95. This is uh, all complete. Actually, this is probably the best box right here. Nothing wrong with it at all. So, Slam and Jam 95. Basketball game, as you can see right there. It's very cool. It's all complete. That's like the most perfect one. So, next here we have uh, Space Hulk. Vengeance of the Blood Angels. This kind of reminds me of like Warhammer 40k or whatever it is. I'm not too familiar with it, but it kind of looks like one of the uh, one of the guys from Warhammer. Pretty neat, but uh, yes, yeah, complete. It's manual, and then just is underneath. Ages 13 plus. Uh, from what I've heard, this game is actually kind of like, kind of creepy at points. So, cleanse and burn. That's cool. Uh, next up here we have um, Club 3DO Station Invasion. And you see right here, you're hired. Uh, cheesy, che very cheesy stuff. It's just like math games and puzzles and stuff like that. So, not very fun. Next here is um, Syndicate. Um, looks kind of neat. I guess it has to do with robots in some way. Um, this one probably has like. This is probably like the best long boxed. 
cane and it's not like an actual box box like this. Like I'm actually you know, this is a snap off. Because uh, the manual's in perfect condition and the game itself I mean, it's got all the flyers and stuff in there too. Still. And the game itself I checked out is like perfect condition. Never touched at all. So that's pretty cool. Next here is another American Laser Games, and that's uh the last bounty hunter. <clears throat> stuff on the back, game gun. And we got the uh, manual here, which is color on the outside, with black and white on the inside. And it's a disc. And then here you see the ads for uh, other laser games, such as, um, what is that? Exciting Maze Game, I guess. Mazer. Uh, Mad Dog 2, Crime Patrol, Drug Wars, Space Pirates, and uh, Shootout at Old Tucson. So that's pretty cool. And the last complete game here is The Need for Speed by uh, Road Track. This does not have a manual, um, sadly. I wish it did, but it doesn't. And then there's a FIFA Soccer ad. So. Those are all my complete 3 d oh, almost complete 3 d games, you know, complete with a real disc anyway, uh, in that, in that sense. Got a couple of empty boxes right there, but, um, <clears throat> so now I'm going to show you the, uh, copied games that I have, and that is, um, <clears throat> the, these are Twisted the Game Show, Manual, box, copy disc, uh, quarantine here, which also has the box, manual, copy disc, um, and we got PO'd, which is the box and copy disc, and then Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, once again just a box and disc, Battle Sport, uh, I think we might have a manual not sure. Nope, just copy disc in a box. And, um, so, hold on, I'm sorry. There's two more here. Got Balls Director's Cut and Gex. Uh, two really good games. Those are just discs. I don't have boxes for those two at all. And then the, uh, the last one I have here is, um, 3DO action pack. So it's supposed to have four titles on it, but all I have so far is Dragon's Lair, copy disc, no manual. Never gonna play it again though because it's terrible. And I would not recommend playing it unless you really like crappy games. Uh, which I enjoy actually crappy games, but can't stand it. It's really hard to play. So yep. So those are all my games that have fallen over. Uh, box and wires and stuff, controllers, systems buried. But, um, yeah, that's it.